Hi guys, Lisa here. I wanted to do a quick update on the Savannah Soto, Matthew Guerra case. We have a third arrest and it looks like they kept it all in the family. From the reports that I'm seeing, the third arrest was Christopher's stepmother. That's from the reports I'm seeing. Some, I saw one report that said it was his mother, but I actually believe it is his stepmother. So let's read this article real quick or pieces of this article. A third arrest has been made in the killings of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guerra, police announced Wednesday. So it, she was just arrested today. Mirta Romanos was arrested on charges of alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse, abuse of a human corpse, and tampering with physical evidence. And there is a photo of her. I believe she's 47. She's the stepmother. I do have a couple video clips that I'm going to play for you. So hang tight for that. And then they just go on to say what happened to Savannah and Matthew and how they arrested Christopher and his father on January 4th. Here it says police said that Romanos is believed to be Christopher's stepmother, Additionally, police added that Romanos stated her weapon, her weapon was the one used. Wow. What kind of family is this, you guys? You know, and it makes me wonder, this kid was only 19. Where the injuries were on Savannah and Matthew, it makes me wonder if this wasn't the first time this kid, Christopher, did this because when it was first coming out where the injuries were behind the ear, it almost sounded like a pro, like a professional hit or something. So this is just blowing my mind. Bear County records show that Christopher is now, is now also facing charges of alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse, abuse of a corpse. And that Ramon now faces a charge of altering conceal a corpse as well. Ramon, Ramon being the father. So it talks about Christopher was arrested. It appears that the vehicle had been at that location for several days. And then they talk about the surveillance footage. And that's pretty much it for this article. So now I'm going to show you a couple video clips that I have Regarding her arrest, I've got the perp walk, so we'll watch a couple of those. Mirta, as a mother, how may you, you be involved in this? Mirta, did you give anything for your life in the family? Do you have anything to say? Did you do this murder? Why did you do it? Are you sorry? You have no, you have no, you have no, There was a lot of information on social media that there was a third individual involved. Our homicide detectives were aware of that. However, we were looking for enough probable cause to make that arrest and to present the best case forward to the DA's office. Today, that happened. They were able to develop enough evidence to charge 47-year-old Mirta Romanos, that's M-Y-R-T-A-R-A-M-A-N-O-S. Uh, she is believed to be, I'm not sure exactly what the relationship is, but maybe a stepmother. Uh, to Christopher, 19-year-old Christopher. Uh, she is being charged with three felonies, uh, the first one being alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse, which is a second-degree felony. She's also being charged with abuse of corpse, which is a state jail felony, and a third charge, tampering with evidence. Uh, through our forensic uh, unit, we were able to develop information from surveillance video uh, that shows Miss Romanos involved the night of the murder. Uh, that video surveillance shows her at the home right after the murders, and she was seen on video surveillance leaving in that black truck that we all saw on the surveillance video, uh, and then returning to her home with uh, Christopher and Ramon in that truck. So she was charged with three felonies, it looks like. You could see a little bit of the perp walk. I'll show you a little bit more. But I know a lot of people on YouTube were talking about they thought that there was a third person in the vehicle. They thought that someone was throwing Ramon a towel to wipe off the car. So it looks like 
they were right. There was a third person in the vehicle and it was the stepmother. What if, what a way to spend a night out with the family, right? What a great family activity, cleaning up after their son's ending of people's living. Okay, let's go ahead and watch more of that perp walk. I have that clip here for you guys. Why did you do it? Are you sorry? You have no, you have nothing to, to nothing to say to the family. No, no, did you get this yeah. for your gun? Back up. How can you keep it? On the other side, right? Keep going. Watch out, guys. Watch out. How have you been able to sleep at night? Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys. Did you get Christopher? Okay, that news reporter asked exactly what I was wondering. Did she give Christopher her gun? Or did he take it without her knowing? That will be interesting to find out as this case moves forward. What a way to spend an evening out as a family, you guys. This is absolutely egregious. Absolutely egregious. We have got two kids that may not have been perfect, but did not deserve to go out this way. And then we've got an innocent life that never even had a chance taken before it even started all by this family. Unbelievable. On our way out, I thought we'd go ahead and look at the surveillance video. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see where it looks like somebody is throwing a towel or handing a towel to Ramon, the dad. And that had to be her. And a lot of people on YouTube did state that they it looked like there was a third person in the truck and they were absolutely correct on that. So let me put up that surveillance video here for you guys. So you can see the car driving up. Ramon is getting out right there, opening the door doing something, saying something. I'm assuming that Christopher is the one driving the vehicle. Right there, there's the towel. See, he grabs the towel. That had to have been the stepmom handing him the towel. That is crazy. They were, everyone was so right when they said that it looked like someone was handing out a towel. And then he hops back in. This is awful, you guys. How can a 19, I mean, a 19 year old carry on something like that, carry out something like that. And then he's got basically his parents helping him clean up the mess. I mean, it just makes you wonder about this family. I really hope they dig into their past, you guys, because I don't know, this doesn't seem like someone green to crime if you know what I'm saying. So anyways, that was surveillance video. There's the update, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. And again, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Help me get this channel off the ground. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.